Hey, welcome to Physical Education with Ms. Reckner. That's me, Ms. Reckner. I teach physical education at both Woodside Elementary and Mead Elementary in Wisconsin Rapids. Today we are going to be playing bocce ball. What you'll need for bocce ball, you're going to need a target item. I'm using this Dalmatian as my target item. You could use a larger ball or something that you are able to visibly see outside. Now you can play this inside, but it's a little tough to do so. So I would recommend doing this outside so that you have plenty of space. But remember, you need to ask an adult before you do anything. Now with your target item, you also are going to need something to um, try to get your target to. So I chose the ball up sock. That's the item I'm going to throw. I also need the bocce ball scorecard that your teacher attached on Seesaw, as well as a writing utensil. The bocce ball scorecard looks like this. If you completed our mini golf course activity, it looks pretty similar. You're going to write first who is playing. So if I have mom, dad, David, and Jude. Those are my people that are playing. Before we start, we need to make sure that all of the names are written down. So pause the video and let's do that now. All right, awesome. Now that you are back, you are going to take a look at hole number one. Now hole number one, it's not like mini golf where we have a marked course. So the first person, player one, is going to throw the target item. We're gonna see that shortly on the video but that is our first hole the first throw the first person who is going to put the target item into play is going to decide what hole one is to get your game started you are going to throw your target item she chose an underhand throw she did an excellent job stepping with her opposite leg and underhand throwing it into play now, she is going to start by rolling her item towards the target. Now, this student does not have anybody else playing with her, so she is able to just keep rolling or throwing. If that is you, you can work at your own pace. If there are other people, you must let them take turns at each underhand throw or roll. You also need to ensure that whoever is the farthest away gets to go first on the next roll. So if I throw first, but I throw closest, the next time it's my turn to throw, the person that has the item farthest away from the target gets to go first. Let's watch. All right, she's almost there. She makes her way, she picks up her item, she chooses to roll it because she's close, and she hits the item. That would complete hole number one. How many throws did it take her to meet the target item? Let's watch again. Looks like it took her three times. That is excellent. So she would mark on her bocce ball scorecard a number three wherever she lands in the player names up here. All right. Remember, when you are underhand rolling, you must step with your opposite leg, release load to the ground, and follow through. When you underhand throw, remember you're still stepping with your opposite leg, arm comes back, but our release is at a medium or hip level with a follow through. And don't forget to bring your bocce ball scorecard along. Now, if you are going to complete the scorecard on Seesaw, you can take a piece of scratch paper and mark down how many throws it took each person and fill it out later. Or if you have access to a printer, you can absolutely print it out and fill it out. Take a picture of it and send it to your teacher on Seesaw. I'm sure they would love to see how well you did. 